This fellow you see here is Yiteng Zhang. Yiteng Zhang is a mathematician. He, in 2014, won the MacArthur Grant, Fellowship Grant, which is given for um, geniuses, basically. But Zhang's story was not the traditional approach um, of most, most mathematicians. So as a young man, he's interested in math. Um, he wants to study it. It's kind of thwarted because of the Chinese Communist Revolution. That comes, that, go, that goes. He's able to study at Peking University. Um, he studies math does very well. He's able to come to the United States, study at Purdue University. That's when things start to go awry for him. He doesn't really get along all that well with his professor. The story goes that um, he pointed out some mistakes of his, of his advisor. His, his advisor wasn't happy about this and there was friction. He leaves without publishing a paper. Um, he leaves on bad terms with his advisor and he, he leaves basically not being able to find a job in math. That's pretty tough. It gets tougher. He works several odd jobs. He works in a motel in Kentucky. He works as an accountant. He works as a food uh, deliverer in New York City. He works um, at a subway stop um, selling sandwiches in New York City as well. So he's just, he's just working these odd jobs. But he continues to do math on the side. I wanted to pick him to highlight the virtue of temperance because it would have been very easy for Yiteng to give in to frustration, give in to anger, give in to, to self-victimization, and to give up math, to, to seek some other kind of more comfortable life. Um, he probably could have li lived comfortably just giving up math. But he was very temperate, and he decided to, to not give in to his anger, to frustration, which... You know, if anyone has a, a reason to feel frustrated, it's probably him. He doesn't give in to the allure of an easy, comfortable life. Instead, he continues to work on his math on the side, which was a true sacrifice. They call it, they call it for true sacrifice.